This is a programme you can do when you're feeling well to increase your activity. If you feel breathless, stop, have a rest. If you feel able, pick up from where you left off. Most importantly, take your time and remember to breathe. Now we're going to do our arm warm-up exercises. I want you to sit forward in the chair and have your posture nice. Remember you want to breathe nice and easy and it should be nice and comfortable. We're going to start with our arms and we're going to roll them behind us. And we're going to do four, so that's us on number three. Last one, grand. This time we're going to roll our arms forward two, three, last one. Well, what we're going to do is flex our elbows, bring our arms up to our shoulders. And we're going to do that just for a minute. Good. And that's fine, stop there. What we're going to do is pull our shoulders up towards our ears, hold them as tight as you can, and let them drop. Now remember you have to keep breathing. So shoulders up, hold and down. Number three, pulling them up, holding and letting them go. This will be our last one now. Shoulders up, hold them tight and let them drop. Good. Now we're going to stretch the arms. We're putting our right arm out taking it across our chest. We're going to give it a wee extra push, hold it there. Just take the pressure off now and back to the middle. And we're going to do it on the other arm now. Straight arm, pull it across the chest, a little extra push. It should be nice and stretched, it shouldn't be uncomfortable. Hold and let go. Now that completes our upper limb exercises. I want you to sit forward in the chair again, nice and comfortable. This time we're going to do the legs warm up exercises. We're going to start off just marching on the spot. One, one, two, two, three, 
three, four, four. That's fine. This time what we're going to do is we're going to take the right leg out to the side and we're going to do it for four. So leg out to the side, one, two, three, and the last one out to the side, nice and comfortable. And we're going to do the same on the other side, this side. One, two, three, and four. Good, this time we're going to give our legs a wee stretch. So we're going to put the right leg onto the floor, heel down. We're going to have the leg nice and straight. It should be a comfortable stretch, it shouldn't be painful. You're going to bend at the hips onto the knee that's still bent up and you're going to hold it for the count of four. One, two, three and four. Have a rest. This time we're going to swap over and we're putting the left heel down. We're going to bend in the middle and we're going to hold it for four again. So one, two, three and four. Great. That's us completed the lower limb warm up. Now we're going to do the leg extension exercises. I want you to sit right back in your chair, have your back against the back rest, nice and comfortable. We're going to start with our right leg. We're trying to strengthen the thigh muscle because you need that for walking, for climbing stairs. I want you to straighten your knee straight as it can and I want you to hold it there for the count of four. One, two, three, four and down. And we're going to repeat that 12 times. Straighten, hold and down. And again, it should be comfortable you should feel your thigh tighten and then release. Hold and let go. To add in an extra stretch, you can pull your toes back, holding them there and then release. And down. This is a good exercise to help support the knee. And down, and this is your last one. And relax. Each time I want you to remember you need to breathe and try not to hold your breath. And we're going to swap over and do it in the same leg, repeating it 12 times. So straightening the knee, holding it there, and letting it down. Remember, you want to just straighten your knee. You don't want to lift your thigh off the chair. That works different muscles. So it's for these thigh muscles. So this is a good exercise when the adverts come on the television, you can sit and do the exercise. To add in an extra stretch, you can pull your toes back, holding them there and then release. So remember to breathe while you're doing this. Your last one, hold and down. And that completes the leg extension exercises. And now we're going to do the sit to stand exercise. This exercise is best done off a kitchen chair or a dining room chair. Your sofa is too soft and too low. I want you to sit forward in the chair have your feet nice and flat in a nice comfortable position and you're going to try and just stand up and sit down. 
and we're going to do this six times. This is to get your thigh muscle working, get it stronger. I want you to try and remember to breathe out on the way up. And once you've done six, have a rest. If you're finding this difficult, you can use your hands to help push you from the chair. And now we're going to have another go. Six again, standing up, sitting down. And breathing out, and breathing in. At any point, should you feel this difficult, because it is the most difficult exercise, you can stop and have a wee rest. And this is your last one. Stand up and sit down. Well done. That's a hard exercise. This completes the sit to stand. Now we're going to do the knee lift exercise. You can do this holding on to the side of a chair or you can hold on to the kitchen sink. You're going to bring your legs up one at a time. One, one two, two. So we're going to do 12 of these. This is good for strengthening your muscles. It's good to help you keep your balance. That's it. Keep going. You want to bring your knees up to where they're comfortable. If you bring your knees too high, this will hurt your back. So, and remember to breathe as you're exercising. And that's it. That completes the knee lift exercise. And now we're going to do step ups. If you have stairs at home, you can use the bottom step and hold on to the banister. We're going to lead with the right leg onto the step, then your left, down with the right, and that's you back. And we're going to repeat this 12 times. At any point, should you feel breathless, you can stop and have a pause, then continue to complete your 12. Step up and step down. Leading with the right and down with the right. Remember to watch how fast that you go. The faster you go, the more breathless you might become. Remember to breathe as you're continuing. When you reach 12, you're going to stop, have a rest if you need one. Once you feel that your breathing has settled, this time you're going to lead with the left leg. Left leg, right on, left down, and again, you're going to complete 12, but should you need a little rest in between, that's fine. Nice and easy, remembering to breathe. This is to help strengthen the leg muscles. And again, once you reach 12, that's you. And that completes the leg step ups. And now we're going to do the pole exercise. This can be done either sitting or in standing. This is to help exercise and strengthen the muscles of breathing. You can use a pole or you can use a walking stick at home. You have your hands at arm at chest level and you're going to you stand up You have your hands at chest level and you're pushing forward and pulling back, reaching above your head and down. And again, 
you're trying to do 12 of these. If you feel that this is making you breathless, again, you can stop, have a pause, and then continue on to 12. If you don't have a pole at home, we can substitute this for two tins of beans that you can do with the exercise. Again, pushing forward, in, reaching up and down. And again, you're aiming for 12. If you find this particularly challenging, remember, stop and have a rest. Remember to keep breathing as you're exercising. And once you reach 12, stop and have a good rest. This completes the pole raise. Now we're going to do the arm weight exercise. You can do this again either sitting or in standing. You have your weights in your hands and that you're going to reach in towards your shoulders and then up to the sky. And again, you're aiming to do 12. Imagine that you're putting something up on a shelf or you're trying to get something from the back of the wardrobe. Should you not have any weights at home, again, this could be substituted for two tins of beans. Again, should you feel that you're getting breathless, stop, have a pause, and then you can continue on to 12. Once you reach 12, you're going to stop and have a good rest. This completes the arm weight exercise. And now we're going to do the lower limb cool down. Bring yourself forward in the chair and we're going to start off with just stepping forward with each, each foot. Forward and back forward and back. We're going to do this three times each leg. Grand. The next one that we're going to do is we're putting the heel down. We're going to bend from the hips and hold. It should be a nice gentle stretch. If it is too strong. Okay. <laughs> Heel down, bend from the hips and hold. It should be a nice gentle stretch. And we're going to repeat this two times. Heel down, bend at the hips, hold and ease the pressure off. Last time, heel down, bend at the hips, hold and relax. This time I want you to put both heels on the ground and you're going to circle with one foot going in one direction and then you're going to swap direction. Then you're going to swap over, one direction circling and then the other direction. That's good. That is us completed the lower limb cool down. And now we're going to do the upper limb cool down. We're going to start off with bringing our shoulders up towards our ears, holding them there and down. 
and we're going to repeat this another three times. Shoulders up, holding down. Number three, hold and down. And number four. And now we're going to move on to a more arm stretch. We're going to place our hand onto our shoulder, take our elbow high, give it an extra little stretch and then reach up. Hold it, bend the elbow down and relax. And with the other arm, hand onto the shoulder, taking it up holding it and down and we're going to repeat that in each arm again hand onto the shoulder stretch it up hold and release and last time on this arm up stretch hold it and then let it down well done now we're going to do a stretch to the side Taking our arm, straight arm, across the chest, giving it a little extra push, holding it there, and relax. And we're going to swap over, straight arm, an extra push, hold it there, and relax. And the same again each arm. Straight arm, we extra push, hold it there, and relax and last time arm stretch hold it and relax now what we're going to do is tuck our elbows into our chest and we're just going to circle our hands we're going to do it one direction and then swap and do it the other one and give yourself a round of applause because you've done well that completes the upper limb cool down.